Ready. All right, I am here with Lydia Ko. Great round today. Um, you had a bogey on the first and then kind of, or on the third, and then kind of turned it around for the rest of the day. Can you talk us through that? Um, yeah, I, it was kind of like a three shot difference on that hole compared to yesterday. I made a hole out eagle and then um, make, obviously it was a little tougher to pin position, but I just missed club myself and um, I was in a position where it was uh, not the place to leave it. Um, but from there, I, I think I played really consistently. I played consistently yesterday and um, for most parts, I don't think there was anything um, that bad going on. So uh, you now I was able to make some good uh, saves and obviously nice to finish off with a good up and down on the last. Yes, absolutely. What have you noticed in the changes throughout the conditions just throughout your round today? You stayed even par throughout the back, but still solid, considering how much trouble there can be if you hit it in the wrong spots. Yeah, um, playing in the morning, obviously, when we first teed off, there was no wind. The flags were, like, barely moving. Um, but as the day progressed, uh, you know, the wind started picking up. And yesterday... Um, it was it only was meant to be like eight mile an hour but i think it gusted up a lot stronger and i think with this place there's no real trees or anything to block the wind when it starts coming in um so you know i think the wind does play a factor the later on as the day goes on um but i think i i was able to play it well and it was similar wind direction to yesterday by our back nine so it was a good reference from yesterday to today too and depending on how the afternoon pans out today, you could still have a tea time pretty late in the afternoon tomorrow. How will you go about that knowing how the wind has treated this course the past two rounds for you? Yeah, um, you just play with what you get. Uh, you know, obviously playing late is always a good thing. Um, you know, yes, playing in the morning, you know, might be a little calmer, but you, you just have to play with the tea time that you get. And um, you know, I'd rather tougher late tea times than easier seven seven o'clock tea times. Yeah. When Minchie comes out of the blocks flying like that, I mean, do you sit there and go, "I better really pick up my game," or does that inspire you to play any more? I think we're all just focusing on our own games. Um, you know, she putted, uh, she obviously gave herself good opportunities, but at the same time she putted really well. It wasn't, none of them were real tap-ins for birdies. Uh, so I think um, her ball striking was solid, her putting was solid. So I'm just trying to focus on my game and you know, there's still so much golf to be played in half the afternoon. The afternoon field has just teed off or uh, still have yet to tee off. So. I think I think sometimes you get caught up about what the other person's doing, but you just got to do a good job of you and um, see where that puts you at the end of the day. How did you feel about your game coming into this week? Um, I haven't, to be honest, haven't been playing that great um, leading up to this week. I I played much better and, and solid on the LAT event a couple weeks ago, so that was a good momentum shift. Um, but yeah, you know, I've uh, I would say it hasn't been. It has been a very colorful scorecard, um, <laughs> not in a good way, uh, not the birdie colors. Um, so yeah, you know, I've uh, I think it's kind of given me time to work with my team and kind of reset and. And um, I think we're moving in the right direction. Uh, you know, it's it's not perfect, but I feel a lot more comfortable and, and confident now than maybe a couple weeks ago. So, um, you know, I'm just taking it day by day and, uh, you know, trust my team. And I think that's the biggest key for well, thought for me out there. Has this been a problem? No. No, always. I've taped this for years, yeah. And then I saw you stop for a few autographs and pictures before you came in. Um, what's it been like to see um, such a young presence here at the Mizuho America's Open, the first inaugural one? Yeah, um, it's always nice to see juniors here. Um, obviously, this is a little different with the AJGA girls um, out here. So I think the whole atmosphere and the buildup um, that uh, Mizuho and XL have done have been great. Um, hopefully, you know, with our location and hopefully nice weather, we have a lot of people coming out and watching us over the weekend. And, you know, um, the more the merrier when it comes to the spectators. Yes. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.